Hi class, a pleasant day to all of you. This is your Professor Dan. And in this video, we are going to discuss the continuation of partnership liquidation. And here, our lesson is capital deficiency. And we are going to divide capital deficiency into two parts. And we are going to discuss part one. And under part one, we are going to uh, discuss the accounting procedures on capital deficiency. And second, we are going to illustrate the following situations. The first situation is that we will apply the right of offset and then the uh, deficient partner is solvent. And the next situation is that we will apply the right of offset and the deficient partner is insolvent. So class, what are the accounting procedures on deficient capital? By the way, let us first define capital deficiency or deficient capital. It is the balance of partner's capital which is negative after the realization of assets. Capital deficiency exists when the share from losses on the selling of assets are more than the beginning balance of the capital. Okay? So, uh, class, how are we going to eliminate capital deficiency? Example, to illustrate how we can eliminate capital deficiency and the uh, pro forma journal entry, we will use partner B as the deficient partner, okay? First is apply the right of offset. If partnership has loan from deficient partner, okay? So we can apply the right of offset. So the pro forma journal entry for this is we will debit the loan to partner to remove the obligation of the partnership uh, from partner B and transfer that loan to the capital of partner B because it is deficient, okay? So that is the first one, apply the right of offset. Of course, if it is uh, the loan of the partnership is from A, you cannot apply that to the capital of partner B, okay? So it is only uh, the loan to the corresponding partner who has a deficient capital. Next, deficient partner makes additional investment. So this is if deficient partner is solvent and he is a general partner. So in this case, if the uh, deficient partner will make an investment, the partnership will receive cash and then that will be an additional capital to the deficient partner. Okay? And the third is that partners absorb the capital deficiency. This is if deficient partner is insolvent. Okay? Meaning the deficient partner has no personal properties to pay the deficit of the capital okay so in this case we will reduce the uh, capital of the partners so in this case it can in this case there are only two partners okay it's partner a and partner b however if there are more than two partners so we will debit all uh, the capital of all partners okay and then credit uh, the capital of the deficient partner. And of course, the sharing will be based on the profit and loss ratio. We will illustrate this. Okay, let us do our illustration. This is the same uh, given from our previous example. This is ABC Partnership Statement of Financial Position, June 30, 2020. So this is the assets, liabilities, and equity, and the profit and loss ratio. So non-cash assets, 
the book value of the uh, non-cash assets will just get the total. Uh, accounts receivable, 50. Merchandise inventory, 40,000. And the uh, net book value of equipment is 90,000. Adding all of these three, you will have 180,000. Okay? And uh, assuming that these non-cash assets was sold at 68,000, so 68,000 then we will have a loss of 112,000. Now we are going to distribute this loss, okay? And the uh, company incurred, ABC Partnership incurred no liquidation expenses, okay? So here we are going to prepare partnership liquidation, the statement of partnership liquidation with the following assumptions. First, we will apply the right of offset. Second, deficient partner is solvent. And third, deficient partner is insolvent. Okay, let us proceed. Okay, this is the heading of our statement. And the beginning balances of our statement. So, um, this 180000 was sold in the amount of 68000 So there was a loss of 112000 based on the previous slide. Okay? And uh, we are going to distribute the loss based on the profit and loss ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 1. Okay, so based on this, this will be the distribution of the 112,000. Okay, so we are uh, reducing the capital of each partner because of the loss uh, from the selling of non-cash assets. So with this, our entry is we will receive cash of 68,000 and reduce the capital of each partner and then debit also the accumulated depreciation and then the accounts receivable the inventory and equipment will all be credited okay because uh, we have to uh, credit all, uh, each account res uh, respectively okay Plus, I just lumped this up together, but in actual uh, exercise or in your quizzes, okay, make sure that you will uh, provide the details. For example, accounts receivable at 50,000, inventory, was it at 40,000, yes, and well, then equipment at 105,000, okay? Um, then we will get the balances. Then after the distribution of loss from the sale of non-cash assets, then we will have to pay our liabilities. Okay, so we don't have any uh, liquidation expenses, so we will go ahead and uh, pay our accounts payable. Okay, so this is our entry with debit accounts payable and credit cash get get again the uh, balances okay then after that we will see uh, the next step is apply the right of offset okay so here the situation is that right of offset and deficient partner is solvent so here we have seen we can see from the uh, capital structure that partner B is a deficient partner. He has a deficit of 11,000, okay? However, in our situation, he is solvent, okay? Meaning he can pay whatever deficit he has, okay? First is that take note that the partnership has a loan from B. So we can proceed and apply the right of offset okay so here we will apply this loan to the uh, deficiency of partner b okay because the partnership has a loan from b 
Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, reflect the application of the right of offset. Okay, so this will be the entry, debit loan to partner B and credit B capital both at 5000 So let us get the balances. Okay, after the application of the right of offset, there is still a deficit for partner B at 6000 okay? But here, our situation is that the deficient partner is solvent. So with this, we can... Uh, he, uh, partner B can make an additional investment because he has the capacity to pay, okay? He has the resources to pay it because he is solvent. So he will make an investment of 6000 which is equivalent to his capital deficiency. So he will invest cash of 6000 to uh, cover his capital deficiency. So in this case, the entry will be the partnership will receive cash of 6000 and credit that cash to partner B's capital, okay? So now, the balances now is that our cash is 69000 there was no transaction on capital on A capital and on B capital the deficit has been covered up okay and C capital at 56,333 take note class that the um, total of your debit which are your cash and non-cash okay and the total of your credit which will be your liabilities and equity, should always be equal at any time that you will get the balances of the accounts, okay? And now, okay, there are no more liabilities, okay? So uh, the partnership still has 69,000 cash, and that 69,000 will be paid to partners, okay for the liquidation of the partnership okay so the entry will be we will debit a capital and c capital and credit cash of 69000 so now the abc partnership has been fully liquidated okay okay class so the next situation is this so this is what we have same and then this is uh, the uh, discussion that we had from previous slide but there will just be uh, a minor change in the assumption okay up to here this is what we have discussed in the from the previous slide okay now the situation the right of offset apply the right of offset and deficient partner is insolvent in previous slide the deficient partner is solvent here the deficient partner is insolvent meaning he has no capacity to pay uh, the deficiency so here the right of offset we will apply the right of offset still okay and then now there is a balance of 6,000 still for B capital after the right of offset. So here, the assumption is that he cannot pay, B cannot pay 6,000. So in this case, uh, the um, other partners will shoulder or will absorb the deficit. So this 6,000 will be shared by A and by C partner okay so here using the ratio of 2 is to 1 so uh, 2 third of 6,000 is 4,000 that will be the share of A capital and 1 third which is 1,000 I'm sorry 2,000 that will be the share of C capital okay so in this case the uh, deficit of B capital has been covered so here it will be this will be the entry debit a capital at 4,000 C capital at 2,000 and B capital at 6,000 
So now the balances will be like this. So here, the 63,000, okay? The 63,000, uh, a capital will receive 8,667 from that. Of course, B capital will not receive anything. And C, and C will receive 54,333, okay? And that's the uh, uh, payment to be made to the partners. And this will be our entry on the partnership has been fully liquidated. Okay, class, that's it. And have a great day. Bye for now.